New Zealand researchers have made a promising discovery which may help identify why not all prostate cancers are life-threatening. The team's isolated three key proteins which may be responsible for how the cancer spreads. Health reporter Laurie Mason explains. Being diagnosed with prostate cancer three months ago came as a rude shock to Wellington grandfather Tim Reddish. It's been a real wake-up call in terms of um, you know, your own vulnerability. He was told his medium-grade cancer made him borderline for treatment. But Tim chose to have a radical prostatectomy, the surgical removal of his prostate gland, to be absolutely certain. You um, examine your own mortality and you think, well, how long have I got left? And then you think of your children and you think of your grandchildren. It's a discussion 2,500 New Zealand men have with their doctors each year, whether their particular cancer demands immediate surgery, radiotherapy or brachytherapy, or whether it is slow-growing and non-life-threatening. Examining cancer tissue currently gives doctors a rough guide, but not a definitive one. But Otago and Victoria University researchers have made a promising discovery. In the course of examining 313 prostate cancer proteins found in biopsy tissue, they've identified and isolated three proteins, which may be predictive as to whether a cancer will spread or not. There's the potential here to, to really understand a prostate cancer a lot better at the beginning and therefore match the treatment to the disease. The research, funded by Movember and the Cancer Society, is now examining biopsy tissue from a further 87 patients in the Wellington region. If successful, doctors may one day be able to accurately diagnose which men require aggressive treatment and which don't, avoiding debilitating side effects such as incontinence and impotence for some. If you have a group of 100 patients, potentially in, in the future we might be treating just, just half of those, those men and leaving the rest alone. Those left can then be actively monitored. I think anybody will want to know how bad their level of risk is. Isolating that risk accurately to provide peace of mind. Laurie Mason, One News.